I didn't know whether I wanted to do this one or not. Um, this is a Honda 650 Rincon. Uh, I bought it reasonable. Of course, you know me. I can't resist. It's going to be made into a side-by-side. -side. I've already started. I have... Uh, the front end has to be 3 inches wider on this side, 3 inches wider on that side. So... I've already cut extension plates to offset. This is where my A-arms were before. This is where they're going to be now. I gotta, uh, I've got to extend that. The pivot points for the A-arms. And I actually have to, because I cannot find anywhere three inch longer axles. So <laughs> I'm going to cut these in two. And I'm going to machine pieces of DOM, seamless tubing, quarter inch wall, uh, well not quarter, probably 200 thousandths wall DOM. And I'm going to extend these three inches. And of course, I've done the steering, I've done the tie rod ends before, uh, they're simple. I cut them to and do the same thing with the DOM and uh, I've never had any failures but that it's a lot of work I gotta do I gotta redo the uh, the shock mounts uh, you can't see up in there it's too dark but I've got to offset the shock mounts by three inches also uh, you can't mess with the steering geometry on the front of these everything has to be moved out evenly Three inches on the shock, three inches on the top A arm, three inches on the bottom A arm, three inches on the axle. If not, this every time you come to a root or a bump, it will rip the steering wheel out of your hand or handlebars. If this you know be the case, if you're widening just a four wheeler, you know what I'm talking about. You can't put wheel spacers on the front. You just got to move everything. Uh, the back, the back is simple. They just throw money at that. It's like 45 bucks for a set of two inch wheel spacers and it's 50 inches wide. And yeah, I'm, I only do 50 inches because uh, if I'm going to spend the money for the sticker, I'm going to go where it's 50 inches wide. And unlike the Polaris 850 that I did that I stretched in the ass end, I don't think I'm going to do that on this Honda because the Honda has only one U-joint and it's fixed going into the differential. The front of this, from what I can tell, doesn't even have a U-joint, but that drive shaft's going to get cut in half and it's going to have two U-joints in it. A U-joint in the front and a U-joint in the back because it's going to be 20 inches longer. Maybe 22, I don't know. I, I don't want to be cramped on this one. I want to have plenty of leg room, plenty of head room, and plenty of room width wise. I'm, I'm going to try to keep the body, the roll cage, everything. I'm going to do an EXO like I did on the 850. Uh, I'm going to have me a set of road tires that are 10 inch wide and then over here I've got all of my fronts which I'm going to buy I don't know I think Duros that look like uh, that look like buckhorns um, and then I'm going to have those hires and rims just for dirt, just for my excursions to Heine Farm, Wayne National Forest, Perry. But I'm going to keep these tens to wear out on the road for road riding. Video number one. Uh, I'm going to. I usually say it's going to take forever, but it usually only takes about six or eight weeks. But this is the start of it right now.